While some early concepts began in the Hellenistic and pre-Hellenistic world, geology as a study did not truly form until the 1700s. And with Father's Day being this last Sunday, we really need to talk about some of the dads of geology. So here comes the top five <sighs> rock daddies. But first, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It tremendously helps the channel, and if you haven't yet, check out the Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club, a new subscription service where I send out a curated mineral, modest write-up, and specimen tag. Let's begin. Starting off strong at number five with Eugene Merle Schumacher. Schumacher was born on April 28, 1928 and was an American geologist and the United States Geological Survey's first director of its astrogeology research program. He is noted for his co-discovery of the comet Schumacher-Levi 9 with his wife Carolyn and David H. Levi. The comet hit Jupiter in July of 1994 and was televised worldwide. He also provided the first conclusive proof that Meteor Crater in Arizona was an impact site. Prior to Schumacher's analysis, Meteor Crater was believed to be the result of volcanic activity. Schumacher unfortunately died in a car accident on July 18, 1997 at the age of 69 while visiting an impact site in Australia. Some of his ashes were later carried to the moon with the Lunar Prospector mission. And that is quite the fitting tribute. Number 4. Alfred Wegener Born November 1, 1880 in Berlin, Germany, during his lifetime Wegener was well known for his achievements in the field of meteorology and the polar sciences but today he is best known as the originator of the theory of continental drift, suggesting in 1912 that the Earth's continents are slowly drifting around the Earth. Wegener died at the age of 50 in Greenland while on expedition. Unfortunately, Wegener's geological theories were not widely accepted until over 20 years after his death, with discoveries such as paleomagnetism, which provided support for continental drift and eventually the model of plate tectonics we know today. In 1980, the Alfred Wegener Institute of, for Polar and Marine Research was established in Bremerhaven, Bremerhaven, Bremer, Bremen, Bremerhauer, I really should have typed this out, <laughs> Germany, in his honor. You know what, we're leaving it in there. Number three, William Buckland. Born on March 12th, 1774, Buckland was an English theologian, geologist, and paleontologist known primarily for writing the first full account of a dinosaur fossil uh, that he had named Megalosaurus, as well as pioneering the use of fossil feces to reconstruct ecosystems. Buckland was known to be eccentric. He preferred to dig and do field work while wearing academic gowns, and just like your average five-year-old, he would stomp around imitating imitating what he believed to be dinosaur movements and sounds uh, while discussing said dinosaurs in his lectures. Buckland, uh, Buckland died on August 14, 1856 due to a disorder of the brain and neck. I say just like a five-year-old, I do it too. Number two, James Hutton, born on the 3rd of June, 1726 in Scotland and is considered to be by many as the father, the father, of modern geology. Hutton advanced the idea uh, that geological features were not and could not be static, but underwent continual transformation over a long period of time. He brought to life the idea that our world's remotest history can be inferred from evidence in present-day rocks. His theories, though, placed him in direct opposition to the, at the time, popular Neptunist theories of German geologist Abraham Gottlob Werner, not to be confused with the Werner previously on the list. Neptunists believed that all rocks had precipitated from a singular flood event. Hutton, on the other hand, proposed a rudimentary version of the rock cycle we see today. His theories were titled the Plutonist Theories. Hutton died on March 26, 1797. So if Hutton has long been considered the father of modern geology, who could possibly take the number one spot? But before that, we've looked at some influential geologists that you may never have heard before. Who do you think is missing from this list? This is my personal list, just my, my little tier list of geologists that I think are really cool. 
that I think have contributed a ton to geology, who else is missing from this list that you think other people may never have heard of? The obscure geologists that you think are super cool? Let me know in the comments. Coming in at number one, James Dwight Dana. Born February 12, 1813 in Utica, New York, Dana was an American geologist, mineralogist, volcanologist, and zoologist, and yes, that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> if it was zoologist, it would have three together. Dana became professor of natural history and geology of Yale College in 1850 and held the position for 42 years. He was joint and later chief editor of the American Journal of Science and the Arts. James Dwight Dana was the, the preeminent geologist of his day. Writing seamlessly countless articles, teaching and giving us our earliest understanding of uh, Hawaiian volcanism. But Dana's crowning achievement is still widely touted and taught today. Dana's System of Mineralogy, 1837, and Manual of Mineralogy, 1848, the Manual of Mineralogy became a standard college text and has con and been continuously revised, currently up to its 23rd edition. System of Mineralogy has also been revised, with the 8th edition being published in 1997. Uh, here is a copy of the 7th edition. This is one of my favorite sets of books. You'll notice it's three volumes, and it touches on so much. I mean, this man spent his entire life just laying out the geology that the mineralogy specifically that we know today the entire premise of how we understand crystal systems form it just it absolutely I mean, this man is barely talked about today and he he gave us so very much of our understanding it was an absolute pioneer in the field Dana died in New Haven, Connecticut at the age of 82 on April 14, 1895, but left a lasting impact on the world of geology over a century after his death. So what do you think of this list? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.